بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہاؤ آر یو اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو ڈے وی ول اسٹڈی فزکس لیکچر نمبر تھرٹی ٹو سبجیکٹ فزکس ٹو ڈے ٹاپک از اسپیڈ آف ساؤنڈ اسپیڈ آف ساؤنڈ اسپیڈ آف ساؤنڈ از تھری فورٹی سکس میٹر پر سیکنڈ ایٹ روم ٹیمپریچر اٹ از ڈفرنٹ ایٹ ڈفرنٹ ٹیمپریچر دا اسپیڈ آف ساؤنڈ ڈپینڈ آن الاسٹریسٹی ڈینسٹی اینڈ ٹیمپریچر آف دا میڈیم The distance covered by sound waves per unit time is called speed. Speed of sound. Sound waves are compressional waves in nature. The speed of, mechan the speed of uh, mechanical wave in a medium depend upon the two characteristics of the medium. Density of the medium and elasticity of the medium. Now, speed of sound depend upon elasticity of the medium density of the medium and temperature of the medium it is the uh, the distance covered by sound wave per unit time speed is distance covered in unit time distance covered in unit time v is equal to s divided by t s divided by t depend upon density of the medium and elasticity of the medium speed of sound since the speed of sound of a wave is defined as the distance which a point on a wave travels per unit time sound waves are compressional waves sound waves are compressional waves longitudinal waves mechanical waves an expression for the speed of sound in any medium was derived by newton and may be written as Now we will do the derivation. The expression for speed of sound is speed of sound is elastic modulus elastic modulus divided by density square root. It was derived by Newton. V is equal to modulus of elasticity divided by rho into this. Where E is a elastic modulus and rho is the density. It is the density. It is modulus of elasticity. And this represents speed of sound. Data. Newton assumed that sound travels through air and other gases under isothermal condition. When sound propagates, the temperature remains constant. Isothermal process. Temperature remains constant. During compression, temperature will not increase. and during refraction temperature will not decrease this process is so rapid this what newton thinks which means that when sound waves travel in the air there is no change in temperature under such condition the modulus of elasticity is equal to the pressure of the gas which can be verified as now applying boyle law pv is equal to During compression, pressure increases uh, by del P. So pressure decreases, volume decreases. Uh, volume decreases by del V. So this expression P increases. Uh, P increases. Uh, v decreases. Uh, P increases by del P. V decreases by del V. Now remember this equation. Uh, now write P V. and we what we written is p plus del p and v minus del v p v minus p del v plus v del p minus del p del v here p v this is cancel with this here we write p del v here we write 
P del V and next we write V del P this we write uh, this we write V del P this is transfer to the other side and the next term del P del V minus del P del V remember this equation now by simplifying that equation we can write I will write the equation again P del V is equal to V V del P I will write again the equation is P del V P del V is equal to V del P V del P minus del P del V so this term is very small so it should be taken equal to 0 because it will not affect your calculation so P is equal to P is equal to del P V V del P P divided by del V it can be written as write del P and below we will write del V divided by V now this equation will become as V P is equal to del P divided by del V divided by V now writing this equation again is P is equal to del P divided by del V V del P is a stressor so write P is equal to stress stress is the stressor and del V divided by del, del V divided by V is volumetric strain which is equal to modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity so in so we can write P is equal to modulus of elasticity so equation V is equal to E divided by rho E divided by rho can be written as pressure divided by density now pressure divided by density where P is the pressure and rho is the density of the gas this is Newton formula for the speed of sound now we know that pressure is equal to rho g h rho g h so pu putting these values V is equal to rho g h divided by rho this is the density of the medium now by putting the values density of rho m is equal to 13.6 gram per centimeter cube and the value of g in centimeter is 980 centimeter square centimeter per second square and h is uh, experimentally these are calculated 76 centimeter by putting these values you will get the value of g 281 meter per second which is, which does not matches the actual values the experimental value of speed of sound in gas is 332 the experimental value is 332 The experimental value is 332 and we in Newton calculated it 281 so a difference of thus the value is 16% different 
different with 16% error with error of 16% and 51 meter per second is the error 51 meter per second is the error in the the experimentally it is 51 meter per second more than the uh, the theoretical value so what newton suppose that the process is isothermal laplace make a correction uh, that the place with the that the process is not isothermal it is adiabatic it is uh, adiabatic so newton conclusion that the speed of sound propagate isothermally is not correct so laplace make a correction and laplace derive the speed of sound laplace laplace formula for the velocity of sound laplace answer the question that sound waves are longitudinal waves which consist of compression and rare friction which consist of compression and rare friction and rare friction so it propagate adiabatically at at a compression the temperature of air rises during the compression temperature increases and rare friction temperature decreases so the process is not isothermal the process is adiabatic laplace also said that air is a very poor conductor of heat and sound of heat and sound waves travel through it with a great speed 330 m per second during compression air cannot lose heat and cannot gain heat during rare friction so the propagation of sound waves through air are adiabatic the process are adiabatic heat loss during compression heat gain is zero and rare friction heat gain is zero heat gain is zero so considering this an adiabatic process for which we have pv gamma is equal to <coughs> constant pv gamma is equal to constant <coughs> where p is the pressure <coughs> V is the volume of the gas and gamma is constant depending upon the nature of the medium. We know that PV gamma is equal to P plus del P V minus del V whole power gamma where gamma is a constant depending upon the nature of the gas. Now PV gamma is equal to P plus del P and 1 minus del v divided by v taking v gamma constant this is equal this is cancel so writing the equation p is equal to p plus del p p plus del p and according to binomial equation 1 minus del v divided by v should be expanded by using binomial equation equation remember this equation now 1 minus del v del v divided by v whole power gamma is equal to 1 minus gamma del v divided by v plus neglecting term the rest of the terms are neglected so this is according to binomial theorem in mathematics you will study it p is equal to p minus del p 1 minus gamma del v divided by v it can be written as p minus gamma p del v divided by v minus del p minus gamma del p del v divided by v this is cancel and this equation in most refined form can be written as can be written as 
neglecting this term also because it is very small so this should be ignored gamma p del v divided by v is equal to del p i will write this equation again gamma p del v divided by v is equal to del p gamma p is equal to del p divided by del v divided by v which is equal to modulus of elasticity so gamma p is equal to e modulus of elasticity putting this value in equation in the first equation where gamma is equal to 1.42 per air so v is equal to modulus of elasticity divided by rho and this should be written gamma p divided by rho where p is equal to rho g h rho g h by putting these values as we written before you can calculate the value of velocity by putting these values we can calculate the value 333 meter per second which is 100 percent precise i picked up various factors on speed up sounds okay density first we will explain density effect of various factor various factors first density the speed of sound in a gas varies inversely as the square root of the density of the gas as the density of the gas as we know that v is equal to gamma p divided by rho so v is inversely proportional to 1 divided by square root of density i will write again v is inversely proportional to the square root of density square root of density the next one is moisture the presence of moisture in the air reduces the resultant density of air the net result is that speed of sound increases with humidity Hence, the velocity of, 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 of sound in damp air is greater than in its value in dry air. So, velocity will increase with moisture. Velocity will increase because it reduces density. It reduces density. Reduces density. Reduces density. The third one is pressure for one mole of an ideal gas having volume v the pressure at, temp at temperature t is given by pressure pressure For one mole of an ideal gas having volume V and pressure P at temperature T, we can write PV is equal to nRT. PV is equal to RT for one mole is equal to RT. So V is equal to RT divided by P. RT divided by P. So density is equal to mass per unit volume mass per unit volume so rho is equal to m p m p divided by r t density is equal to m p r t now further we will write that gamma p divided by 
rho is equal to this so by putting the value of density in this equation we will get that gamma rt divided by mass so velocity is no more directly proportional to the pressure not directly hence the speed of sound in a gas is independent of its pressure is independent of its pressure now the third one and the fourth one and the last one is temperature as we know that v is equal to gamma r t divided by m so v is directly proportional to square root of temperature so for solid and liquid the change in the speed of sound with temperature is very small and can be neglected but for gas the change in speed of sound with temperature is very large the increase in speed of sound with temperature in gas is about 0 points with 1 degree celsius for 1 degree celsius for 1 degree celsius speed will change by 0 0.6 meter per second increase a per 1 degree rise in temperature in gas 0 0.6 meter per second change in velocity will take place change in speed will take place thus speed of sound in a gas is directly proportional to the square root of the absolute temperature of the gas so speed of sound is directly proportional to the square root of temperature to the square root of temperature speed of wind if the air carrying sound waves is itself moving there is wind the speed of sound in the direction of wind relative to the ground is while against the wind is if the speed of wind is vw and the speed of sound is v if, it, if both are in same direction the speed of sound increases and if both are in opposite direction then the speed of wind uh, the speed of sound will be decreases by a factor with respect to the speed of wind so it also depend on the dire the flow of air the flow of air in which the air the, the direction in which the air blows so speed of sound depends on density moisture pressure temperature and the speed of air also the direction of air in next coming lecture we will do the superposition of waves thank you students allah peace